something that I really enjoy sitting and spending a bit of time with. Now, Tristan had the most phenomenal few days actually spent with a hornbill family, a ground hornbill family, a couple of weeks ago. They really are fascinating birds. And we've got a lovely little group here. You can see the juvenile on the left with the underdeveloped bright, well, underdeveloped dark facial patch. Complete contrast to that of the, the parents and the adults that have very well developed red patches around their face and a sort of a an, a, a bulge around the base of their of their bill. There you go. There's an adult for comparison. And if you look really closely, it's a bit tricky to see from here, but if you look really closely, you might even be able to see under one of their bills there will be a blue spot or a bluish spot that will tell us that it is in fact a female rather than a male. So for our new viewers, this is a southern ground hornbill. I said that it is a rare bird. It is endangered. They are one of the bird species that is incredibly threatened throughout Africa. So every time we see them, we stop and appreciate their beauty and of course, just how privileged we are to see them. The biggest threat, as with most creatures out here, is loss of habitat. And they're very picky birds. They build nest sites that they then use regularly, year after year after year. And when that nest site gets destroyed, they get very unhappy. And they then refuse to breed for a considerable period of time. I knew of a pair of birds that wouldn't breed for three years after their nest site was destroyed by lightning. Umkar, yes, they are genetically related to the other hornbills. Uh, they, there is also another ground hornbill known as the Abyssinian ground hornbill. And of course, I'm just trying to think if I had my bird book with me. I don't because I'm in the wrong car today. I thought I was going to be in Quito, but Brent did not return. He went out this morning and didn't come back. So I, my bird book sitting in the car. But yes, there are... Let me see if I can find a picture. There are genetically similar to the hornbills that we see. I'm so desperate to show you a, a black and white casked hornbill. It would be... It's been on my wish list for ages. I know Taylor... Taylor's come the closest to managing a good hornbill sighting. I haven't managed it yet. Nearly did. James, you're wondering about if we ever put bands on the hornbills to see where they go to. I confess to not knowing the answer to that here in Kenya. I haven't seen any bands around the ankles of the hornbills. I can tell you that in Kruger it's very common practice. They are The population of ground hornbills in South Africa is monitored by an organization known as the Mubula Ground Hornbill Project. And they tag the various birds and what you'll find is it'll be either left foot or right foot for male or female depending and occasionally different colors for where those birds have been released. Now, I don't know if the same process is done here. I know in the Kruger they encourage guests to report sightings of those tagged birds. I'll try and find out for you. Just out of curiosity, I'll try and find out. There must be somebody somewhere researching a ground hornbill in Kenya. So I'll see what I can do. And while I ponder that and go and see whether or not these guys have any bands around their legs, let's go across to an antelope that has bands around its body and is considered to be one of the most beautiful.